Hi, and welcome to this week's Power Play. I'm Suzanne Chadwick, founder of The Connection Exchange, helping you build a business and career to love. So today we're gonna to be talking about profit streams in your business and listening to your customers and potential customers. So recently I found a website of a designer who I thought looked fantastic, went and read the about page, went and looked at the work with me page, which was coming soon, which is totally fine. So I sent her an email and said, love your site, love your branding, love the colors, totally connected with this. I have a project coming up. I'm really keen to find out whether this is something that you might be able to do. Now remember, I didn't know what kind of services she offered because it wasn't there. It was still obviously being developed, which is totally okay. Uh, and I got an email back saying, hi Suzanne, thanks very much. This project would be too small, regards from the designer. And I just thought that was a really interesting response. So I guess one of the things that I really wanna talk about today is taking a look at who your potential customers are and listening to them and connecting with them in order to evolve your business service and clientele. So the first thing is to connect with your customers or potential customers as much as you can. So if somebody emails you or if somebody's interested in working with you, even if it's out of the scope of what you normally do, it's always worth, especially when you're starting out in business, it's always worth connecting with them. So for example, you know, I could have got an email saying, hi Suzanne, this sounds like a job that's maybe a little bit smaller than what I'm looking to do, but as I haven't actually put any information around what kind of jobs I do, I'm really happy to have a conversation with you. And so having that conversation could potentially mean that one of the services that you are looking to provide to a customer, you can then upsell them. You can upsell them into that. If they're already a fan and they feel like what you're doing is connecting, uh, you know, for them, then it's definitely worth having that conversation. So in my business, I have discovery sessions, which is basically just a half an hour call if you're interested in coaching or working with me, just to connect and find out what it is you're looking to do. Is it the right fit? Are we the right fit? And that's free. That's something that I provide that's free in order to connect with people as well as potentially see whether any of my service offerings might be right for them. So connect if you can, and I would always recommend that you reach out and connect with people, especially when you're starting out your business. Obviously, if you've been in business for a long time and you get thousands of these requests, that's not really possible, but definitely where you can connect and see whether you can provide one of your services to somebody that's interested in working with you. The second thing to do is also to listen to maybe your current customers. So they might be hiring you to deliver on one thing, but they actually need a bit of support doing the things before they get there. Uh, so I was speaking with another client of mine about this and she felt that she wasn't getting paid for work she was doing for clients because it was in preparation to the paid work that she was doing. So the opportunity there is to potentially package. If you are already doing the work and it's not part of your current service, then how are you gonna package what you do so that you're actually getting paid to do the work that your current customers who are engaging you for other services are coming to you for? So get smart with that and really look at how you're evolving your services to obviously ensure you're getting paid for what you do, but obviously also offering your clients more of what they're asking for. The third thing is then also to price accordingly. So if you are packaging your services as well, then think about the IP that you've created, the time that you're spending and the value that you're providing as well and price according to that. Now, once again, when you're starting out in business, speaking to your ideal client and really finding out what their needs are, what problem you're solving and how much they're willing to spend on that can really give you a price point. Obviously, you'll set your own price point based on what it is you're wanting to earn and you know how much time you're spending in certain areas of your business on specific services for your customers. So those are just three quick tips when it comes to profit streams in your business. So the first one is connect with your customers to really find out what it is that they need and whether any of your services are gonna be right for them. 
The second one is maybe listen to your current customers and if you're doing work outside of what you would normally get paid to do, then take a look at how you can package that up so that you're obviously evolving your services and packages to get paid for the things that you're doing. And the third thing is to obviously price accordingly. So really take a look at what's the IP, what's the value, what's the time that you're spending so that you're not just looking at an hourly rate, but that you're providing something more than just, you know, that 60 minutes of value to them. I hope that those tips have been helpful. Have an awesome week and I'll speak to you soon.